the carp tease. Start by mashing the barb on your hook. Insert the hook in your vise. Next, grab some .035 lead-free wire. Take about 10 or so wraps. And position the little butt right where the point. You may need to use pliers to push the little end down. Then load a bobbin with Vivas A-Dot thread here in brown. Start your thread in front of the weight behind the eye and cut the tag end off after wrapping back. Bring your thread to behind the lead wire and start taking wraps to secure it to the hook. Then go to some med dumbbell eyes here in yellow. In the little section behind the eye, attach them with cross wraps on top of the hook. This will help the fly ride hook up. Once you get it secure, take some wraps above the hook shank but below the eyes to really lock those criss-cross thread wraps in place. Then go to some root beer orange tip rubber legs. First cut a section of a single leg and then pull off another section, this time three legs still attached. With the single leg part, fold it over your thread and bring it on top of the hook. Bring it right behind the eye and wrap back down to where your thread ends right above the barb of the hook. Then cut the rubber legs so that they're about one and a half times the hook shank in length. Then go to some hackle. Select a fiber that's sized for the hook. That means barbules about one and a half times the hook shank in length. Separate the tip and tie it on the hook with the shiny side facing you. Then go to some fine, small brown chenille and strip the fuzzies off of one end. Then with the skinny end, tie it down right at the bend of the hook. This will help create less bulk. Then advance the chenille with touching wraps up to the back of the dumbbell eyes. Just take a wrap or so to secure it. Then grab the hackle and start making open spiral wraps through the chenille body. You should get about five or six wraps before you reach the dumbbell eye. Then go ahead and secure it off and cut the rest of the stem clean. Bring your thread to in front of the dumbbell eyes. Now grab that section of three rubber legs, fold it over your thread, and bring it on top of the hook, in front of the rubber, in front of the eyes. Now use the eyes to split it apart so you have three legs on each side. Now grab the chenille and make crisscross wraps over the dumbbell eyes to cover up any exposed thread or rubber leg. Then end with the chenille in front of the eye and take wraps of it wraps over it with the thread to secure it. Then cut the chenille off close. After that, go ahead and whip finish your thread. Seat the knot well and cut your thread off. And then grab those rubber legs and cut it just so they're extending a little bit shy of the longer tail. And that's it, that's the fly.